Hello there, citizens of whatever country that is, and welcome to the frontiers. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, I wanted to change something before we started this episode. And that is, raise the volumes just ever so slightly up. Alright, we're done. Go back into the game. Alright, so, last we left off, we uh, have just got Jamie and this new abnormality that we'd known nothing about. It seems very interesting, but also kind of weird. Alright, let's see who we're going to send in on this test run. And let's start with Insight. I'm assuming Insight is going to be good. Definitely not Jamie. Let's send in Jack. Sure, he's got pretty high prudence. He should be able to handle it. Look at Yumiko just zooming around the facility there. Alright. So, Morphus underscore. The sight of a mad employee singing looks as if they are performing a ritual to bring upon something or someone. Okay, this looks. This doesn't look dangerous. Attempts to smile. Tentacle. Blurs the barrier between reality and the unknown. Uh. Okay, so inside maybe it's maybe like common. Yeah, it's not very great. Oh wow! Holy moly! That's a long, long cooldown in the game it has. Alright, let's check out the managerial tips. When the result is always normal, Clifford Catter was reduced with a normal probability. Oh, where's, where's Morphsis? Morphsis. Come back down here. Morphsis. Please. Why do you not listen to my direct orders? Thank you. Alright, inside did not work very well. Let's try attachment. For that, the best candidate is still Morphosis underscore. Let's send him in. Morphosis! Not to mix him up with Morpheus, because this is definitely not him. Who enters domain with axes, the secrets of the universe? Okay. Seems to smile, but this only terrifies the employees. Attachment seems to be working better so far, I think. Yeah, attachment definitely was better. Uh, when the work is always bad, Cliff of Canada reduced with high probability. When employee fell into panic, Cliff of Counter has decreased. So I'm a, I'm guessing this is an escape object, like it escapes. Let's try attachment again. Attachment seemed to, to work quite well here. Let's check it out once more. Seeing as this abnormality is probably under our control, let's um, start working on some other abnormality as well. Like we can send uh, Jamie to do Repression on Beauty and the Beast here as his first task. He should be fine. The site of Fragment of the Universe in Madame... Pl oh, it's called Fragment of the Universe. It deals what type of what type of damage it deals? It deals white damage. We are okay against white damage. Okay, fine. Oh come on, Jamie. Man up, man up there, bud. We've we've done this a lot a lot of times. Uh, we can't really do anything. Let's check some of the work lists. Yeah, attachment one and two seems to work the best with this abnormality. Attachment. Morphsis underscore. Alright, we can't. We should not send Jamie in on this inside job. Let's ch uh, Let's send arrows. 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 In. Oh, we got Clifford meltdown. Open can of whale cheers. Uh, definitely, we can send Jamie drink some soda. All right, other than that, it's fine. This having melody deals black damage, which is pretty bad. I don't believe Jack Morphsis has that high resistance against black. He actually is vulnerable against dark, dark black damage, so that is definitely not a good thing. -goo. Not a good thing. -goo. Oh, punishing bird still didn't even like didn't even bother. That's pretty good. We can send Jamie again to do repression work. We can send uh, Jack, Morphosis to do attachments. Let's unlock the lists. Ego gift somewhere spear. 
Breach. Regression work looks common. Insight, common, low, low, yeah. Abnormality story. Sometimes it speaks in a mysterious manner. One employee attempted to decipher its speech. See document one, David's song. But within several days, his sanity became corrupted. He suffered complete psychosis and had to be quarantined. The tentacle that is part of the abnormality, it is quite different from the tentacles we know. But for the sake of convenience, we have decided to call it a tentacle. Pierces through the barrier of reality. Employees impaled by the tentacles suffer permanent brain damage. When the abnormality escapes the containment unit, it emits noises in the corridor. Because it has a certain melody and syllables, we consider it as singing. But no employee ever remembers it precisely, and most of the time they are unable to describe it due to their serious brain damage. Oof. Employees who were within 100 meters from it called it a sound which cannot be heard from this world, so we called it an echo from beyond. Refer from doc to document to the song. That sounds kind of menacing, but also kind of interesting and mysterious. It's like, it's not inherently evil, it's just not of this world, you know? There's something to be said about that, something poetic. Okay, so this is gonna cause Dawn. Do we want Dawn to be caused yet? I don't think we do. Oh. Alright, so we've got complete food. That's definitely fine. Um, we'll send Yumiko and Morphosis to deal with it here. So complete food is just these creatures that spawn and they try to attack uh, employees in the department. Yeah, these guys may be toast. Let's send uh, the control team to handle that situation up here. I think we had five members of the control team? What happened to someone else up here? Did we have... The oh no wait, never mind, there are four. Yeah, they are four. Can we... Can we please move? There we go. Get him! Hit squad, get him! Stop crying. Just uh, just some people here. Right, we can go back in. All right, we got him. They're just popping them. Excellent. Inevitable depletion. Garbage. Did they kill any employees? Like the clerks? I don't think they have actually. I think we've. I think all of them managed to escape, which is quite wonderful, to say the least. All right, so we need attachment here. I think I'd like to work this abnormality out on this day because uh, after that I don't really want to like actually work this abnormality unless I desperately have to because like attachments it's only common on attachment and it's not particularly very good. We can send Jamie to do some repression work. We can send uh, send arrows to do some of that. Some of day. Give me some of day. I mean, after all, arrows it could still do attachment work on this. Yeah, she totally could. Yumi could totally also do attachment work on this abnormality. Hey, we did it. We we completed the day. All right, <coughs> let's check out the escape information. So it's Cliff off counters two. Its ego weapon and suit are somewhere spear. Huge resistance against black damage. Kind of bad against everything else. And the spear is pretty great too. Like black damage is pretty pretty good. Black damage is pretty good. Attachment or this underscore. I don't think we need to work any of these. Oh, we can we can buy the pistols. Oh wow, that's great. The pistols that I'm probably never going to use ever again. All right, you must be happy. Needs to be used. Darkling can go and use it. Uh, opened can of well cheers. Sure, Jamie can handle that. He's a big boy. Mimi, big boy. And Morphsis, can you please stay here? You'll have to go in again after this. I'm sorry. Fragment of the universe. It's a Teth class abnormality. Experiment 1, Possibility of Communication. We assess that the abnormality has an intelligence similar to, 
or higher that than that of humans and gave it a simple language learning course. Uh, course. As a result, accrued communication by combining words has become possible. The following is part of the communication record with the Anamari. Are your kind all similar in appearance? Negative. Outside. Child. See. Picture. Face. Happy. Change. Form. Why did you come here? Our knowledge shared human. Why do you want to share your knowledge with us? Understanding knowledge. Moment. No. Universe. Coincidence. Negative. None. Okay. The following is an attempt to decipher the communication. It's based... It based its form on a picture drawn by a child. It changed its form because the child expression while drawing it was happy. Ah. The abnormality came here to share their knowledge with us. When we fully understand their knowledge, we will know, we will know their ultimate goal. There is no such thing as coincidence in the universe. Experiment 2. Experiment on laughing. After watching a video on laughing for 30 minutes, the abnormality recognized the idea of laughing. After that, when employees entered the containment facility, it sometimes emitted a strange noise while it appeared, while what appeared to be a smile formed on its face. It looked like it was mimicking a laughter. Understanding symbols. We taught, we taught it the meaning of various symbols along with the language. Among them was a heart symbol. The symbol provoked a distinct change from the abnormality. Showing a picture of heart symbol. This is a symbol of heart. It is thought that emotions come from the heart, and the symbol is used to express positive emotion or a liking towards someone. Omit it. Afterwards, several symbols resembling a heart were sighted on the Amnavati's body. It seemed to understand that the symbol could be used to express friendliness towards humans. Combining the results of experiment 1 and 2, it is confirmed that the Amnavati is not hostile towards humans and wishes to become friends. David's Song David was known within the department for his attempts at communing with the fragment of the universe. He was an intellectual who enjoyed reading philosophical books and gazing at the stars. He was interested in the fragment of the universe since he got the job and researched its language and behavior purely out of personal interest. And what had become of him? He finally succeeded in entering the domain of the fragment of the universe. But it was obvious that his small brain couldn't withstand it. He was transferred to the psyche ward and died of starvation while singing an unrecognizable song. This is the reason why the abnormality's voice cannot be revealed to the public. Audio recording, echoes within the universe, deleted. Document 2, the song. Why didn't you tell me from the beginning that they've gone mad because of that abnormality? I do not know if there is any pattern yet, but they all show strange behaviors on the exact same day. Can you imagine three patients looking towards the sky with strange expressions, wailing strange noises in the corridor at night when everyone's asleep? I had a difficult time persuading other patients that they must have been practicing for the upcoming Halloween event. Psychiatric treatment or medicine is ineffective. Coming, coming, still coming, this is what they always say. They also say other words that are not from any language we know. I think sending them to a general hospital was not a wise decision. Urgent message from Dr. Alice Alisa. Okie dokie. Right. Uh, attach. Morphosis, please attach yourself to that abnormality. Thanks. Whew, definitely an interesting one. It just wants to be friendly, guys. Totally. Just wants to be friendly. It does have a pretty good weapon. I'll, I'll, I'll take the weapons. They're pretty good. Definitely will take the weapons. <clears throat> let's just let's just try to get as much uh, as possible out of this abnormality on this day, so that we don't have to ever bother with it ever again. We just have to keep an eye on Morpheus' health levels, health and sanity, honestly. Oh, it's on one. On it's on one cliff hop counter. I'm kind of tempted to see what will happen if we, we let this abnormality out. Okay, I got worried there for a moment. Uh, if it goes out though, that would not be intentional. On normal result, it has a normal probability to get the cliff off counter. It's out. It's out. So what does it do? What on earth? What 
what on earth is it doing? Everybody get down here. Everybody! <laughs> Except maybe Dark and Dark. Yeah, they're very vulnerable to black damage. Their stars are singing to me. Can you hear it? Oh my god. That is terrifying. <laughs> what a freaking friend you are. Oh my god. Okay, how much damage does it deal? Oh no. Okay, Yumi. Oh, it deals so much sanity damage. Please kill it. Holy moly. Okay. Why? Why are you here, Jack? What are you doing? What have you been doing over here? Get back. Get back over there. Okay. Well, that was rather entertaining. I like this abnormality. It's kind of cool. Like, it's not... It's not particularly... Uh, awful. But it is... It does escape, so... And I think someone is... Some, some one of our employees might still be quite insane. Maybe? Not necessarily sure, but yeah. Alright, attachment. Let's send, uh, let's send Arazo in for some attachment work up here this time around. We already know that this abnormality is... It's kind of okay, so... And it reacts the highest, the lower the, 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 what is it called, temperance level is, so, oof. Permanent damage is human brain. Big oof, alright. I like also the color of this, this is pretty cool. The color scheme is funny. Funky and wonky and stuff. Alright, let's send Yumiko in there now. You must listen to the song of my people. Listen to the song of my people. Alright, we got uh, some meltdowns happening. You must be happy, must be used. Uh, we did. Alright, okay, Darkling had a pretty good result with it last time. Scorch Girl requires inside but low. So, yeah, let's send Dark in there. Uh, with you, we can train attachment on someone, Nico. Punishing bird might escape. I'm actually I should actually be a bit worried about this. And look at okay, punishing bird is out. Uh, so you know what? Let's just leave. We'll let this down get done and then we'll leave. We'll we'll let the current works get complete and then we'll just end the day. Because I don't want punishing bird to escape. Not even because it can do significant damage, it's just because we're gonna lose the LOB points. I got six, that's pretty good. Six LOB points, I'm happy with that. We killed an abnormality as well, that escaped. I like also that when the abnormality escaped, the music didn't even bother changing. It's like, it's okay dude, the abnormality's not that bad. Morphs has got some temperance, Arrow's got some prudence, good, good. Let's go to the next day. Let's go to the next day. Yay, 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 yay. This bracelet does not forgive those with greed, so it should only be worn by those in need. Eventually they will lose all prudence and even forget how to exist. Remember this melody? Professor played this song when the students were sleepy. Happy birthday. I think I know what this one is. Let's go with this one. I like it. The sound of it. It seems dangerous. Manager, I want you to choose one among the alphabet A, B, and C. Let's choose A. Did you pick one? Good. Then listen carefully. A is a good letter. My name starts with it as well. People who chose A are sensitive to others' opinion about you, yet results-oriented. As you are an excellent listener, people around you will flock to you. It's a new pastime among the employees, but I find it interesting. No scientific observation. Wait, did you say interesting or uninteresting? Uninteresting. It's just good for passing time. One could also imagine I could have been this or that kind of a person if I were a human. Was that too far? Okay. You exceeded all my expectations. 
I forgot how to do this guy's accent, so I'm sorry. Let me explain about your next. You saw it. I heard about the accident. How many times is it? Shouldn't you be with your team members? Accidents do happen. I don't want to rub it in. It only encourages them to cry more. But people are dead. You should say something. Even a half-hearted commemorating speech would be better than silence. I'm not you. I see no point in being sentimental. I'm too good to be sna shackled by cheap emotions. Well, I'm just saying. I guess there's no right answer. See you around. What do you think? Should I go comfort them? Yeah. Honestly, I'm surprised to hear that from you. You make a speech every time there is an accident? Don't you just watch them shred in pieces in your shiny monitor every day? I will blame your inexperienced manager. Sympathy does no good in the company. Okay, Mr. Isad. I don't really get a button to hold a speech. I would like to, maybe. Complete insight work. Alright. Yeah, sure. Alright, so now, now we got a staggering six LOB points. So I think, first of all... Oh yeah, first of all, yeah. Output HP UI. Definitely. Okay. First of all, let's buff Jamie a little bit here. Because he feels slightly weak. So we'll do that. And now we're also going recruit to an, recruit an employee, and we're also going to immediately buff them as well. <clears throat> their name is going to be... Their name is going to be... Their name is going to be... Why not put myself in the game? Long last. Finally, time has come. Nico Frontier. Um... Change my hairstyle. That's not me. That's really not me. That's, I don't know, dudes. I don't know. I've... That one, that last one should have been it, I think. Okay, this one works. This one works. Maybe a bit, maybe slightly darker hair color, though. I don't want it to be purple either. green sure kind of like this what I, why not I like this face okay I like this one all right so that will be me Nico frontier all right let's check out the ego lists for everyone so we've got a couple new weapons this these deal black damage black damage is pretty good and it also we kind of don't really have a lot of people with black damage so perhaps let's equip uh, equip some of it I think it will definitely come in handy up up there. Alright, let's... Uh, you know what? Let's uh, actually unequip everything from everyone and just uh, spend a little bit of time equipping things for the team. Alright, so... Up here, in the control team, we've got... This bird, which we just don't suppress ever. Scorch Girl, who is good against red. Vulnerable to white and okay with black damage and the skull that doesn't escape and also the machine so you deal red damage you deal also red damage you deal white damage and you just can outright kill someone um, down here we have a non-escaped object that deals some white damage another non-escaped object that like barely deals any damage and an escaped object that deals black damage somewhat, and then when it escapes deals a lot of black damage as well. So down here definitely is a lot more dangerous than up here. Alright, let's check it out. So up there we need some white resistance and some uh, and more red resistance. So actually the fourth match flame is pretty damn great. So what I'm going to do is give Morphosis and dark buddhist these suits all right so next best thing we got is this beak armor so we'll give it to alex and nico dark can use um dark can use the horn armor that's pretty good that's a pretty good armor 
All right, and now Zayin. The best against black armor is actually the Zayin patience. So we're just gonna equip that. It's actually a really good fit for this abnormality because it deals a lot of mixed type damages. So yeah, we'll just do that. As far as ego weapons go, so up in the control team we don't actually really suppress all that much. But it would be very, very nice to have a, to have some white damage. So how about we equip uh, a lot of white damage up here. And in case we need anyone suppressed down at the bottom, we'll just hit him with a white damage. Right? That good? No, that, no that's not good. We'll keep two, two of these sticks and we'll give them to Arrows and Jamie. Huemi. Alright, and for that, so red, 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 red. Scorched Girl is resistant to red. We don't suppress the bird, and the other thing doesn't escape. So we need that down down, down below. So Yumi, Yumi can use the grenade launcher. <laughs> Yumiko with the grenade launcher, okay. And I can use... Um, well, we might as well use the spear, right? All right, so we can we can also use another speed spear with a control team. Alex Morphs Nico. We want to dark, and also for dark link, we can give him uh, the horn. All right, that seems good. And finally, for the end of this episode, let's have a look at uh, the abnormality that we're going to deal with tomorrow. It is an item. And we literally don't know what it is. It's a floating orb with an eye on it. Huh. Eventually they will lose all prudence and even forget how to exist. I'm curious. Send me in there. I, I imagine I can die if I use it for too long. Does this person have like a... What is that? What is that on your forehead? Is that hair? I think that's hair. I hope it's hair. Alright, so... You just stick around, my dude. An electronic device with a mysterious pattern carved, carved into it. The stats regarding justice will increase greatly when behavior adjustment is equipped. However, all stats regarding prudence will drop at the same time. What if I return? Ooh. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, well, we'll figure out we'll figure out all of, all of that next time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bye, bye, bye.